Hello, Danny here and today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video and this is probably gonna be the last one for a while because I'm gonna cancel everything because I almost run out of money this month because I bought too many books and comics and boxes and everything and rent and bills and no so I have to stop so I'm gonna stop with these boxes because I always can like resubscribe if I ever want to so today I'm gonna be unboxing this And I'm gonna start with the Draw the Marvel way. Um, this might be the only thing I keep for a little bit longer, like maybe two months. And then I'm gonna cancel it. I actually got a new pack today, so I got two to unbox. So let's start with the first one. You know what's funny about this? I haven't even been drawing anything of Draw the Marvel way. Too lazy. So. How to draw Captain America in 8 steps. Good. That's what I want to learn. And it's got a sheet in the back that looks like this. And I have no idea what that's going to be about. But I'm sure they're going to tell me. Right, so I got issue 8. Draw How to draw Captain America. America so and it's got Cyclops head in it as well so and as I said I've got this sheet it's actually really glossy so I think it's a sticker of some sort I have no idea where that comes in I'm sure I will find it out once I actually get to this. And I got one of these in here. So little tools I can use. And then we have then we have issue 9. Uh, how to draw Craven in 8 steps. Oh, that is an interesting one. Sure, gonna be fun to figure out how to draw this bit, that lion bit, and the pants. So, um, let's see what the other one is. It's how to draw eyes and brows. So that is a good one. Eyes and brows. Eyes and brows. So that's going to be interesting because I'm be really bad with eyes and brows. Faces in general. And it even shows you how to illustrate guns. So, and I got a sheet of paper. I'll see where that, where that comes in. And I got one of those Pipex thingies. I actually think I run out of that, so that's good. And let's just open the other one as well, even though it's the newest thing. But I'm just gonna stay with the draw the marbles way where we edit. Right, here we go. I think that is the last one you get when you subscribe online. So now I get more of these fine liners. I got a lot of those, so. You can never have enough of these eye fine liners. Why am I saying eyeliner? Of these fine liners because we can always use them. So that one's issue 10 and it's how to draw falcon. We're getting close to all my favorites. Which is good it's because I want to be having those before I quit. So that is falcon. And the other thing is Modoc and wings. That's interesting too because obviously you learn to draw falcons, so you need to learn the wings as well. So that is for issue 10. 
And I got a few more colors. I won't ever have this set complete because I'm gonna quit before that. But that's okay. And the last one's issue 11 and it's Red Skull. How to draw Red Skull. And the special part is many faces of Spider-Man and the bone structure. So that one's for this issue. And I got more of this. Pretty sure that's what you used to do with Red Skull the head. I don't know, but well, these are interesting. I can use them for my own art as well. So these kind of these extra bits in the Draw the Marvel Way are always good to keep for any other things. So that is Draw the Marvel Way. Then I have, I know in the last video in the unboxing video I said I'm gonna quit my geek box, and I did now, but I still got one more. So I'm gonna be having this one as my last one. So let's open my last big box. Oh man, again Doctor Who. I know remember I remember last time. I mean I know last time I kept the TARDIS. And I did actually keep the TARDIS. And I got a slimer. That's good, I like that. I like those posters. So I'm gonna get a slimer. Yay for that. And then I have, of course, a sonic screwdriver of the Ford Doctor. I'm actually going to get give that one to my friend. Wow, I actually get a DVD in here. That is interesting. VHS 2, who's tracking you? It's a horror movie. No idea what any of these people are work that are playing in this, but I got a DVD, so I might watch that at some point. It's from the directors of the raid. How about with a sh shotgun? Your next and the Blair Witch Project. I've never heard of this film ever. But it sounds interesting to say it's from the demented minds that brought you last year's VHS comes VHS 2. Also, oh, there's a first part of that. An all new anthology of dread, madness, and gore. Venture even further down the twisted path blazed by its predecessor as two private investigators on the search for a missing student break into his abandoned house and find a column of TVs littered with VHS tapes. But this is no mere movie night, as the investigators sit down to watch the tapes in search of clues. They are faced with the horrifying motives behind the teens' disappearance. How old is that film? 2013? Just funny because they have VHS in, those, in the film. But yeah, apparently there's obviously, if it says two, there's obviously number one. I've never heard of this ever. That's nice. I like DVDs. It can go into my collection of DVDs, so that's good. And I got a comic. The Empress issue one. Not, I mean, I've seen the comic, but not. I don't know what it's about. But why not? I'm going to read it and see what it's about. It's an icon comic and I've never actually read an icon comic. But yeah, there's a comic in this. And I got a DC Blind Box mini series kit robot. There's so much kit robot stuff, it's ridiculous. Well, let's see what I have in here. But yeah, finally, after a gazillion years. I opened it and let's see what we have. 
I got Harley Quinn. Sweet. Smells like rubber. But yeah, I got a Harley Quinn. And last but not least, a t-shirt. This one is... Yes! Captain America t-shirt! With a broken shield, which makes me sad. I don't know what this leads to. But yay! I like this t-shirt. T-shirt. So yeah, that is my geek box. T-shirt. Comic. DVD. Harley Quinn mystery mini. And Sonic screwdriver, which I will give to my friend. That is this. Oh, and the Slimer. Slimer. That is for this. And I got my first ever scroller box. And sadly, I already had to cancel it. Which makes me sad. Because I like hard stuff. Scroller box. Let's see, of course with this sticker, I've seen people unboxing this, so I know you always have this kind of sticker on, on the thingy. Right, what do we have here? I got a polo. I've never seen a clear polo. That's interesting, I've never seen that. This month's theme is manga, that's awesome. Manga yourself is the actual challenge. I know there's always challenges, but me being totally lazy. Yeah. But yes, that's cool that I have like all this stuff to do mangas, because I want to learn to do more mangas at some point, like just characters in general. So, we have, I'm going to go with those super fancy names. So, we have this, a Sakura Pigma brush pen. Pen has a fine brush nib that can draw very fine lines or broad strokes. It contains arch archival pigmented ink that is waterproof, fade resistant and quick drying. The ink does not bleed even through most papers. Alright. Always those are always... Ooh, that's fancy. Never had one of these. I usually have those other pens. Oh, that's fancy. Like it. That's why I like this box because you get all this cool stuff. Right, next is. So I got those Graphmaster Dual Tip Markers. So I know which one. Yeah, I have something similar to that. It's also Japanese actually. So it's one thick side and a thin one so it's those markers and I got black and white like gray scale colors so I'm gonna add those to my already markers I've got a touch in hand twin markers and then it's got some Chinese stuff on there so yeah, it was really expensive, but it's great. So, Graphmaster Dual Tip Marker. These alcohol-based twin tip markers have a fine 0.8mm tip and a broad 7mm tip. 
The markers are quick drying and water permanent. We have provided you with a selection of cool greys for shade variations and a pure black for contrast. Plus we have also included the colorless blender to mix tones and help blend the shades together. This mix of markers is perfect for practicing with tone variations without having to worry about color choice. Sounds good. And I've got a Sakura Jelly Roll white from the inventors of gel ink. The archival quality white ink is not only chemically stable, waterproof and fade resistant, but it's perfect for adding those all important highlights to complete your work. The consistent ink flow will not smear or feather or feather when dry. I always wanted one of those. That's good. Highlights. Highlights. Always good. And then I have those Graph Master Permanent Liner set of three. These alcohol based water resistant black permanent liners are ideal for drawing small details with their fast drying ink in addition to a 1mm thick liner for thicker contours. There is a 0.6mm and a 0.4mm fine liner for finer details to give a range of line weights. Sweet! And last but not least I've got a graphite pencil. Call e Noor. 10H. 10H. Wow. This hard graphite pencil is ideal for drawing and sketching with high opacity and light fastness, clean erasing and are strong and durable. I've never had that much H. And that's great. So that is for this. Then I have a scroller box sticker and the painting the featured drawings and paper for myself. So this is the featured drawing by Mina Petrovic and she is a professional manga illustrator for around 10 years. So that's why we get the manga theme and I got two empty papers to actually do myself as a manga figure. Is that what we have to do? But yeah, that's the scroller box. Which means that is the end of the boxing stuff. So I'm gonna leave it at that because I talk too much again. So I will see you in the next video which is gonna be my... April wrap up before I leave home and my book wrap up so I think I'm gonna do this on Monday or Wednesday probably Monday because I need Wednesday to do stuff so I'll see you then so have a nice weekend I'm gonna be working all weekend so yay for me but yeah, have a nice weekend and I'll see you soon. Peace. Before I... Muffin? I'm too lazy to get up to get a knife. Why can't I open things? This is ridiculous. Oh wait. I forgot there's this little thingy on the side. Ow, my feet. Ow. My feet fell asleep. Ow, 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 ow. Why can't I open things? <laughs>